What do you think, guys? This place is even creepier than I remember. Well, they do say that this mansion is haunted. <sighs> hey there! Huh? Ah! 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 Thanks for the heart attack! Oh, what? Did I scare you? Uh, oh. <laughs> Our bad. So how did it go? Did you get any leads? <laughs> nope. Afraid not. The asking around thing was a total bust. Yep. This old mansion is our last hope. You guys ready? Another Twilight Town awaits. Yeah. Here we go. The password was, uh, sea salt ice cream, right? Okay, I'm in. Let's get that transporter working. Uh, uh. Oh man, the transporter's been protected. Protected from what? I guess from us? We can't use it to get to the other Twilight Town. Why not? It worked before. We sent Sora there! Well, that was then. And this is now. And there's no other way? None that I know. Great. Oh. Huh? Hello, Sora. You wouldn't happen to be in front of a computer. Huh? Well, yeah. But how do you know that? I was tinkering with Ansem's computer. You know, to decrypt the code that was left in it. And I noticed that someone had logged in from another terminal. I figured it might be you. Uh, oh, yeah, the log terminal. You don't know what you said. Oh, oh and what? You do? <laughs> I know I haven't got a clue. <laughs> then, uh, who was it that logged in? Oh, hi there. This is Pence. I'm the one who logged into the computer. Good. As long as it's a user that we know we can trust. Yup. But I'm kind of stuck here. Hmm. One of the programs is protected, so... I can't uh, run it. Which program? Uh, the transporter to the other Twilight Town! Uh, it's uh, the only way to find Roxas! You gotta help us! Another Twilight Town? And a transporter? Okay. A virtual town inside the computer made of data. A datascape? Fellas! Mm-hmm. We've seen one. That's what we used once to investigate Jiminy's journal. Maybe I can do something. Pence, let's get a network set up. My address here is... Okay, sharing is enabled. <gasps> huh? Were you able to fix it? Now that our two computers have been successfully networked together, I can take control of the terminal there and change the privileges. And Roxas? Yes. For the virtual world to be completely realized, Ansem the Wise would have included Roxas's full data in the construction. Meaning, somewhere on your machine there's a log of that data that... Uh, basically, we can decipher Ansem's code more quickly, and we can analyze the virtual Twilight Town while we're at it. Okay, great. I can't computer, so do that. Glad you're following along. 
Don't worry, we'll handle it. Chippendale will be helping me out here on this end. I'll call you back as soon as we know anything more. Thanks. Oh, before I forget, a bit of troubling news. It's about one of the organization's former members. You knew him as Vexen. But to us, he was Ansem's apprentice, Evan. He was recompleted like the rest of us. But hadn't regained consciousness yet. Then, sometime after Lee left, Evan vanished. Alias and Dylan, the two you knew as Lexius and Zaldin, they went out looking for him, but he's just gone. And I'm starting to worry. Oh? You think he's on their side? I think it's a real possibility. He's a devious researcher. You should be careful. All right. Thanks. Oh no! We got work! I totally forgot! Really? But what about all this? Hey, both are important. We're gonna need some cash to go to the beach. Also, don't forget the pretzels. Gotta buy four now. Hmm? Uh... Oh, I get it. He's thinking ahead. <laughs> Later, Sora. Yeah, see ya, Hainer. Bye, Donald. Goofy. Goodbye! <laughs> Oh, and since I'm manning the computer here, you guys are in charge of earning my share. No pretzel for pence. <laughs> hey! So, you think you can bring Roxas back? Oh. Ansem! Oh. Xemnas! Roxas should never have existed in the first place. What you seek is impossible. Roxas does exist. His heart's inside my heart. And in the unlikely event you did manage to separate the two, where is it you think you can put his heart? Well, Roxas used to live in the other Twilight Town, right? So, I'm just gonna put him back there. Do you even realize what you are saying? The other Twilight Town is just Data. A heart can live anywhere, even inside Data. There are hearts all around us. Hmm. Huh? Ansem and Xemnas used to be part of the same person, right? But look, now they exist separately just fine. Uh. If they can do it, then I don't see any reason why you and Roxas can't find a way. Oh, yeah! yeah. You tell him, Captain Goofy! <laughs> In that case, by all means. Nothing would please us more than Roxas's return, of course. You wish? He'll never answer to you again! Still so blind, a nobody is what's left behind when one gives his heart to darkness. There is only one way to bring Roxas back, which is for you to give your heart up as well. Sora, have you finally decided to call upon the darkness? <gasps> what? Go on then. The shadows are never out of reach. <sighs> Now, set your heart free. Wait! Sora! It's not darkness. Not if it helps him. Yes! Yes! 
said he said with all my heart okay then all my heart it is I'm getting Roxas out are you with me Donald Goofy <laughs> you I don't know what Ansem and Xemnas want but I think we better tell the others to watch out <laughs> Okay, then. Let's head back to town. <laughs> well, bless oh. my bagpipes. It was you laddies who rescued my <laughs> chef. I can't go strong. Huh? Wait, didn't he sell ice cream in Hollow Bastion? That's right. But Uncle Scrooge here is what you might call a world traveler. Cool. <laughs> how are you, Uncle Scrooge? Oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? So, Uncle Scrooge. What's that you were saying about a chef? Oh, right, right. The chef of me bistro here wanted to show you his appreciation. So, he baked this for you. Hmm. What is it? Wow! wow! Cake! <laughs> huh? The whole cake? It's for us? Huh? I mean, uh, settle down. Uh, the chef wants you to know it's not a cake, but a tart of fruit. He does? Why keep it under my hat? May I introduce Little Chef? Oh, oh it's you! Uncle Scrooge, you open the bistro and try on town! Aye, it all started a little while ago, when I was enjoying one of the best meals of my life. And when I asked to speak to the chef, I met this wee genius. As it turns out, he wanted to expand his culinary horizons. So I thought, that's an opportunity. And I financed the whole operation. Ooh, I think he wants to cook some more for you. Fetch some ingredients, especially anything unusual. That'll be fun. Kind of like a scavenger hunt. And the more the better. The mark of a truly great chef is creating masterpieces out of anything. You can start right here in town. We'll do anything to try more of Little Chef's food. Yeah. That tart sure did look scrumptiously delicious. Okay, the ingredient hunt is on. Hey, 
Guys! Huh? Oh. Painter! Olette! Uh, hey, boss. Uh, Done with the posters. Huh? Hey! Good work, kids. You guys work for Uncle Scrooge here at the bistro? Um, do we? He gave us a short job putting up these special posters. Mr. McDuck's hosting an open-air film festival in the courtyard. Cool, huh? <laughs> oh, Sora. Hold your phone up to the poster. Okay. There, you've just downloaded a promo game for the film. You can try it later. You download this, Uncle Scrooge? Of course, laddie. Provide a bit of entertainment, and then give folks a nice, cozy place to relax. Like my bistro here. They'll all be happy and hungry, and eager to spend their money. <laughs> Uncle Scrooge! Gore, she sure is canny. I always wondered how he keeps customers coming into his businesses over and over. Oh yeah, I'm no business guy, but I sure wouldn't want to be one of Uncle Scrooge's competitors. Seriously. <laughs> oh. oh, right. I need to warn you guys. Why? Well, those creepy crawly things might come back for more. So stay on your toes. Sure. But don't we have you guys to take care of him for us? You have to leave again? Mm-hmm. It's our job! But we'll definitely be back. When are you gonna slow down? Sorry. Just do me a favor. Well, what is it? Don't make it too tough. I know how Roxas feels to be lost. But Donald and Goofy? Kyrie, Brought me back by wishing with all their hearts. Mm -hmm. So, I was hoping the three of you would do the same and wish for Roxas. What? That's it? <laughs> That's no favor. We'll all wish. I'm wishing. Yeah. Me and Pence, too. <laughs> Thanks. Aren't you making it a little too obvious? We were instructed to guide him. Yes, just look at them. They wouldn't get far if we did not spell it out. Huh. Fair enough. But let's not forget how many times Sora still managed to rain on our parade. If he wavers from the path we lay, we destroy him. But in that case... We'll have to find ourselves another vessel. That is why we never have just one iron in the fire. I'm sorry I left without saying goodbye. Did Master Yen Sid tell you? I'm training to become a Keyblade wielder like you. That's right. No more waiting for you to come back from your adventures. I want to get out there and do my part to help. Merlin has used his magic to bring us to a place where time doesn't matter. We can take as long as we need to complete our training. He's an amazing wizard. Oh, and by us, I mean me and Lee. He's really sorry for all the trouble he caused. I told him it's fine, but he won't stop apologizing. I'll admit I was a little scared of him at first, but I've gotten to know him better. All he ever wanted was to help his friend. Honestly, it's hard not to like him. Every now and then, I catch him staring at me. When I ask what's wrong, he says, I'm not sure. 
I think I'm forgetting something. Don't know what. Sora, I think it may have something to do with you. Your journey is all about helping people. Some that you've never met before, and some like Lee that you have. They're all counting on you. It won't be easy, but I hope you'll remain the happy and cheerful Sora I know. There's no heart your smile can't reach. What's wrong? Huh? Uh, nothing. Sorry. Lee. What? I am. <laughs> A letter? Yep. To Sora? Mm, technically, yes. But I won't send it. It's more for me. Ask Merlin. He'll deliver it for you. Yeah, but it's okay. I just like talking to Sora, even if it's on paper. Oh, okay. Oh. Hmm? Here. Ice cream? Really? Yeah, I asked Merlin to pick these up. You know, we did both summon Keyblades. Gotta celebrate. You're sweet, Lee. <laughs> nah. What? No, uh, nothing. I just... You're trying to remember what you forgot? Well, I, uh... Yeah. Yeah. So tomorrow, you and me in the ring. You ready? Of course. Don't hold back, Lee. Promise? Oh. 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 Huh? Are you okay? Lee? Uh, yeah. Sorry. You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, something in my eyes. Lee. I'm gonna go. Sorry. Okay, but stop apologizing. Fine. On one condition. What? Call me Axel from now on. Got it memorized? Yeah. Okay, Axel. So this is the place. Where Aqua fell into the realm of darkness after she dove in to save Terra. Yeah. She said he was acting strange. Strange how, exactly? She sensed darkness in him. And they ended up getting into a big fight. Right. And in the aftermath, the two of them disappeared. Around the same time, the guards found a stranger with white hair lying unconscious here in the square. A man calling himself Xehanort. 
Ansem the Wise took the stranger in, but that was a mistake. Xehanort betrayed his master, stole his research, and along with his fellow apprentices, separated his heart from his body. Xehanort's heart took his master's name, Ansem, and traveled to the past to give his younger self instructions. He even briefly had control of you. His empty body stayed in the present, took the name Xemnas, and founded Organization 13. Their goal was to prepare 13 vessels for Xehanort's heart. Until we put an end to the organization. But all the while, young Xehanort had been visiting the future to choose 13 vessels of his own, hearts with strong enough ties to him to begin a new organization, the real Organization 13. And now they're looking for a fight with us. But what happened to Terra? I thought you said that Aqua saved him. Yep, she did. The problem is we didn't notice. You remember the end of the Mark of Mastery exam? When Master Xehanort made his grand return? That's the Xehanort I remember. He was already a pretty old man then. But how do you explain Ansem and Xemnas, his heartless, and his nobody? Isn't it strange how young they look? Why aren't they old men? It's because Xehanort was using a different body when the split happened. That face from the portrait I mentioned? It wasn't just some stranger that Ansem the Wise took under his wing. It was the young man whose body Master Xehanort possessed. No way! That was Terra? Master Xehanort was using Terra? Yep. Master Xehanort told us another on our list belonged to him. He was talking about Terra. Turns out, Aqua saved more than just her friend that day. Okay, but Master Xehanort is an old man again now. Where did Terra's body go? Hmm. <gasps> it's because Master Xehanort's collecting vessels. He claimed to have two of our seven lights. We got Sora back, but Terra must still be on Xehanort's side. He's with Organization 13? We should warn Sora. Yep, and Merlin too. Yeah. was watching that! Uh, sorry. But this is no time for television, Rex. Gotta say, that Giga's pretty impressive. Really? I like his aura most. Woody, <laughs> 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 what gives? Shh. 
Are they back? Shh. All right, guys. Today we teach those mask intruders who's boss. Is everybody in position? Wait, hold on. I don't think I'm emotionally prepared. Would you calm down? Don't worry, I got you covered. It's go time. What in the world? Where are we? Hmm? Oh my gosh! Have we been shrunk? And... and look at us! You know what the magic is for? We have to protect the world order! Border? I said order! Gorge! Hmm? Who's going to protect the order from them? Headless! Okay, we go on three. One, two... Wait! Uh. What are you doing? Who are those guys? Are they new? Huh? Mm -hmm. Wait! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, you look familiar! Uh -huh. I know this! What? You're... Uh, uh... You're... Uh... You're Zora! Huh? My name's Sora. Oh. <laughs> Stay back. For all we know, the intruder said... Yeah, Zora! Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Slow down there, Rex. We don't know them. But we can trust them. They're the number one selling heroes in the country. Yeah, and his mom mm. must have <laughs> bought them for him. Ham's right. Did you see how easily they took care of the intruders? I bet they're here to figure out why all our friends have gone missing and why Buzz's laser started actually lasering and had all the weird stuff that's been going on. I mean, that's what heroes do, right? Let's not jump to conclusions. Hmm. Gotta be smart, Woody. So you're Andy's new toys? Oh, toys? You sure did a number on those intruders. Those are the heartless. The bad guys. We've been fighting against those intruders for a while. I knew it! <laughs> hmm. Okay. Huh? In that case, you're all right by me. My name's Woody. Put her there. Hey. Now hold on. I'm Sora. You Sora! <laughs> Actually, my name's Sora. And I'm Donald. Oh, I'm Goofy. And I'm Buzz Lightyear. Call me him. It's a real honor. And I'm Rex. 
I'm your biggest fan. In fact, I've been playing your game for months now, and I've already gotten you all the way up to level 47. But that Bahamut boss is really tough. Slinky and I can't figure out how to beat him. Oh, I wish Slinky and the others were here. They'd be so happy to meet you. All troops, at mm -hmm. attention, sir! Huh. Mm -hmm. Whee! 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 Strangers, from the outside, welcome. They're all toys? So that's why we look the way we do. Huh? Excuse me. You said that you've battled those intruders before. Tell us where and why. Oh, well, uh, we are... No. Oh. Well, you must have come from somewhere. Hmm. Take it easy, Buzz. What matters is that they got those intruders out of our way for at least a little while. No need to interrogate them. Yeah, Buzz. Woody's right. Noted. But still. Hey, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. have those intruders, the Heartless, been a problem around here? No. They just showed up a little while ago. In fact, those Heartless materialized right after all of our friends up and vanished. You don't think. Well, gee, it can't just be a coincidence. Mm. It wasn't always this lonely. One day we woke up and we were the only toys left here. Nobody's heard from Mom, Molly, or Andy. We keep waiting for Andy to come home. You really care about him. <laughs> yeah. He's the best friend that toys like us could ever hope to have. All right. We better start looking. Huh? Have you got any clues we can go on? Any other strange things that happened? Well... Hmm. Hmm. There's one thing. <laughs> one big thing? Huge, sir! What thing? After everyone went MIA, the intruders didn't come alone. They arrived with a guy wearing a hood dressed in black just like you. As a matter of fact, he's the only other toy we've seen outside of you three. A black hood? But that would mean... The organization! You know who it is? <laughs> yeah. They're bad news. Seems like you have a lot of enemies. We may have a hunch what's causing all the weirdness. Would you mind if we handle this? I'm sorry. But we're not gonna leave this to you. Huh? If that guy had something to do with our friends vanishing, then he's our problem too. We've got to work together. <laughs> right. <laughs> so then, where can we find that guy? Sarge, any word from the recon team? The latest reports place him in town, sir, at Galaxy Toys. Then Galaxy Toys is where we're going. Sora, mm -hmm. follow me. It's out the window and down the roof. Not so fast, cowboy. Hmm? You seem pretty gung-ho about going. But shouldn't we stay here and wait for Andy? Well, you've got a point, but we've tried waiting. Look, if we go with Sora, we might find a clue. Are you with me, Buzz? <laughs> of course. Okay, let's move out. Why doesn't that toy move? 
I guess it hasn't figured it out. Figured what out? I can make it move for you. Uh huh? You're from the Dream! The first of the Xehanorts! I'm so honored you remember me. Oh no! He can move! Way cool! Look out! Wow. One heart's shadows fill the emptiness of another. See how they bring him to life? Like heartless and nobodies, they fit together. Enough! Why are you doing this? There's a darkness we are missing and must reclaim. The way hearts connect in this world can provide us with a clue. So we made a copy of the world, and then pulled those hearts apart. I wonder how you'll handle the strain. Wait! What does that mean? Don't let me down. What is going on? Is this boy a friend or foe? I think we've got our answer. Yeah! If the Heartless know how to do it, there's no reason you can't. Do what? Huh? Brilliant! I'm on it! He was being controlled? He wasn't just switched into battle mode by accident? Buzz? It's nothing. I'm confused. Hmm? That guy in the black coat, did he say he made a copy of the real world? What's that mean? It probably means they split this world in two. Your friends in one world, us in the other. Only one of the worlds is real. And the other is just really convincing. You can't be serious. Oh, that's right, you're from a video game. <laughs> well, maybe in your game that's how things work. But here in reality, you can't split worlds. Uh -huh. well, this is ridiculous. No. I... Woody, let's go. I admit, it does sound just a little far-fetched. Mm -hmm. But, 
Say we have been taken to some kind of alternate world. That would explain why your laser's real. And is it really that crazy? Worse than evil emperors and protecting the galaxy? Any of that ring a bell? <clears throat> Point taken. But that just means these strangers are part of the delusion. And I say it's time we parted ways and went home. Thought we were friends, not strangers. <laughs> Look, I get that it seems weird. But we know something's wrong with this place. We should stick together. Sora's right. They helped with the intruders, so they might help find our friends. They have been there for us so far. You can't deny that. Come on. Every toy deserves a fair shake. Am I right? Tell it to that toy over there. <gasps> hmm. Sheriff, sir! Huh? Rex has just been dino-napped! What's that? Oh. Oh. My men saw him get hauled up to the second floor, sir! And Ham and the aliens are M.I.A. Come on! We have got to find them! Please, let us help! Yeah! Well, Buzz? Do you really think we can save our friends on our own? We didn't get very far before. We gotta take all the help we can get. Don't worry. Hmm? Sora can be reckless, what? and Donald grumbles a lot. It's true. But you can trust him. Yeah. I suspect you do. It's true. Huh? He does? <laughs> See, they don't seem bad. Am I right, Buzz? Okay, fine. We do need the extra help. But just so we're clear, I remain skeptical about this. I'll work with you till we find our friends. Okay. Thanks for the help, Sora, Donald, Goofy. My troops will return to the field, huh? sir. This ascent is gonna be rather tricky. Too bad we're not strapped to a rocket, huh? <laughs> hey, think we could use that? Oh. It's perfect. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> 